I'm Ashley Edwards. I am an Extension Agent and Coordinator in the Central, Northeast, and Northwest regions for the LSU Ag Center. Um, coordination of Animal Science Programs, Livestock Agent. We're here today to talk a little bit about body condition scoring. And so what we have here in the raceway are kind of two extremes, I guess you would say, of where you want to be. The one here on my left, we're looking at probably a body condition score of three and a half to four, we'll say four today. And the one here over to my right is gonna have a little bit more cover on her and she's probably pushing about the seven range. So body condition score is exactly what it says. It's looking at body condition. And that body condition is gonna really take into account fat cover. Um, muscling has some effect to that as well, but what it's showing us is how well um, are those cattle fed and how are they using their uh, nutrients that you are giving them. With that, you're gonna see a range and some extremes to that. We have cattle that are easier keepers and we have some that are a little bit harder to put some condition on. So here, these cows are both in the same herd but she's using her nutrients probably a little bit more efficiently. She's putting on some more cover than the one over here. So the best way to think about this is that our animals are gonna put fat on from head to tail and from back to belly or front to back and top down. So when you come in to assess body condition, a couple of the key places that you want to look at is over the top line along the spinal processes. You wanna look from, she's gonna move a little bit, look from hooks here to pins or the front and the back part of the hip and you want to come down along the ribs so with her i'm calling her again a four today because you can kind of see her last few ribs here but if i go in and actually feel of her i can feel some fat cover she's got a little bit of softness there to her um, you might be able to see the spine here but you can't really see the spinal processes but when you go in and i actually palpate i can feel the individual um, spinal processes or the individual vertebrae there. And then as we come back, you know, we can see the hook bone here and carry back to the pins. She does not really have much fat cover at all here. I mean, I can feel bones all the way through. Now, if we change that and we come back to our fatter cow here, you can see, especially as we move forward from the shoulder all the way back, she's just smoother in appearance. You can see that she's got more visible fat cover. You cannot see the ribs. When I start to palpate, I feel spongy fat cover over the ribs. If you look down the top line, it's flat, okay? I cannot see that spine. I'm going to feel some sponginess if I were to go and palpate along the spinal processes. You see smoothness from her hooks to her pins. And then you also start to see a lot of fat cover back here and what we would call her pones. Once they start to develop this fat here, she's gonna to start to carry down and we can't see it, but they will start to put fat down around their udder. That's what pushes them up into the eight and to the nines. So with that, our ranges are gonna be one, which is gonna be very, very emaciated, very thin, all the way up to a nine, which is basically our morbidly obese cow. You don't want the extremes. You want to be kind of in between. So we shoot for the five to six range, which we're gonna show you here in just a minute. All right, so as I said earlier, we want to keep the body condition somewhere in the five to six range. Again, we're looking at a range of one to nine, one being very emaciated and sickly, nine being very obese. What we have behind me is nice because typically in a herd, you're going to see a range of three body condition scores. So here we're looking roughly the four to six range back behind me. Um, sometimes a herd might have five, six, seven. It just depends. Um, again, that has to do with the individual animal. Uh, if they're an easy keeper, maybe one's kind of stressed a little bit. She's a little sicker. Um, or even if maybe she's later to the calving season and she's been lactating and she produces more milk, she's going to lose a little bit of condition due to that. So there are a lot of different variables that are going to come in and actually impact our body condition score. Um, when we think about looking at body condition and actually going in and writing it down, there really is not a terrible time to go in and assess body condition. If you can get them into a race, if you can get them into a shoot like what we had earlier, that's nice because you can go in and palpate. Um, it is slightly subjective, especially when you're standing here looking at them depending on the angle that you actually get. So again, think about that fat deposition pattern. Think about front to back and top down. And when you look at one, she might be very smooth over her shoulder she might look like she's carrying a little bit more um, through the front part of her ribs but as you start to go back towards the short ribs back towards the hooks to pin bones she might start to thin out just a little bit her um, hip bones might protrude just a tad and she might not have that fat cover there around her tail head or that little area that we like to call the pones 
So when we get back to when are the best times to write this down, again, any time is great, but you need to realize you need to look at it multiple times a year. So a few rules of thumb that we have is that we want them to be at a five, our mature cows to be at a five at breeding and around a six at calving. Our heifers, we definitely want them to be at that six at calving because they are still growing themselves and they're about to go into lactation, which is what takes probably the most energy out of a cow, producing milk. We also have to think about the fact that she's gonna be lactating, having that calf, and then you're gonna turn around and try to breed her back 60 days, something like that, as quick as you can. And so it's a lot of stress and a lot to put on a cow. So again, we aim for that five at breeding, that six at calving. Um, other times to look at it and really think about it, you think about the fact that you're gonna have to take some time to put some condition on these cows. So if we are talking a thousand pound cow, it takes about 80 pounds to take her from a body condition score of five to six. So go in, look about 90 days before um, calving, look 60 days or so before breeding, assess at breeding, assess at calving, and then the other times to look would be right about weaning and maybe 45 to 60 days after weaning. Um, if you have any questions on any of the body condition scoring, if you would like some help with that, you can contact your local extension agent or one of us here at the Dean Lee Research Station and we'd be happy to help you with that. Thank you.